Hello everyone, welcome back to Realism Overhaul Sandbox and Kerbal Space Program 1.12. In a previous video, I introduced this depot concept that would accommodate starship tanks and visiting starships that need to refuel. And, well, I got some feedback, and so I've decided to rearrange this. The main feedback was that maybe we shouldn't have the starships aligned uh, such that their broadside is facing the sun. I mean, of course, that's not great for boil off. Uh, we really want their tail end facing the sun, if anything, uh, or maybe their nose. But uh, the tail end is generally heat shielded anyway, so probably better, and with the engines in the way and everything. Uh, so... Yeah, that end facing the sun would be better. And, well, that sort of makes these things useless, doesn't it? <laughs> uh, I, though I, I, I'll still release them. I think they're a good idea for something or another. And you could still arrange Starship like this. I mean, you could pretend that uh, blocking the Starship tanks with these like this would be a good way to control boil off. Uh, it's, it's possible. But anyway, let's take a look at the revamped design for the depot and I'll see what you guys think of that. Okay, well it's gotten sort of big so we have to pop outside and that's because I still want to accommodate four starships and uh, basically it's a starship tanker, starship uh, depot. The tanker is the one bringing the fuel, the depot is the one that's stuck to the station and we want two depots and uh, two visiting tankers to be accommodated. And if they're visiting, I guess we will try to... I guess the visiting spots might not have these, or we'll have them retracted. Uh, but the arrangement this time, it, it's not visually correct because I have to redo the parts. But the panels pointing this way will be only radiators. Uh, the panels pay, uh, pointing this way will only be solar panels, not a mix of radiators and solar panels. And our orientation then is this way is north, uh, that way is prograde, that way is retrograde, and down there is south. And so when the sun is shining directly above the earth, uh, we will have the solar panels oriented this way, and the starships will be blocked by the actual modules here, and the, the tail end of the starships will be facing the sun. And so that's the orientation, but we'll still have radiators around them, they'll need radiators anyway. And uh, in this case, the solar panels are really only blocking the trusses, which may or may not have fuel lines between them. I think we will have cross-feeding between the stuff at the top here and the stuff at the bottom. And conceptually, what's going on here is that we will have maybe crew for the starship hang out in the modules. And this could accommodate two different crews, one down there, one up there. We don't need them to mix. They might not be psychologically good with that. I don't know. Uh, but anyway, these are crew accommodations uh, while they're waiting for the trip. And then the, uh, they could be brought up by Dragon instead of the actual Starship or something, since Starship doesn't have a launch escape system. So, so then the Starship will dock and they'll get on board the starship that's got to take them to the moon mars or whatever and or on the other hand shinkansen could dock and shinkansen has a launch escape system at least the way i've redesigned it it has so that maybe doesn't need dragon to bring them up so anyway uh now we've got a station that looks like this now the more kerbal adept of you will realize that we can't actually connect all these modules like this because at, at some point you're going to have a uh, module a module that will have will be trying to dock on both sides simultaneously and that kerbal doesn't like so so one of these is a fake dock somewhere somewhere in this there is a fake dock uh, where a module is only docked on one side but not the other and it's probably that one down there. Anyway, but yeah, well, uh, let me see if you guys have any objections to this. This is just a quick video introducing this concept. And if we're in agreement that this is a decent thing, I'll, uh, I'll still have the solar panel and thermal option. But we'll have also a full radiator option and a full solar panel option. Uh, instead of having a mix of solar panels and radiators. And these will still rotate, right? Um, I don't know if we want to have the whole station try to orient to the sun. I mean, if we 
always have this end facing the sun, then the solar panels don't have to rotate. But I think even though we don't want the broadside of the starship facing the sun, uh, we will probably just keep the orientation so that uh, this end is prograde. And in that case, when the sun rises, these will have to turn towards the sun like that. And then the sun will go around and they'll turn to track it until it sets on that side. And so it'll be like that. And then when the broad side of the starship is facing the sun, uh, we'll hope that the radiators can help deal with that. And maybe we'll also orient the heat shielded side of the starships towards the prograde's. Well, but then the, uh, but it's, the sun sets, it's gotta be on the retrograde side anyway, so. It's tough, but hey, it's more boil-off protection than they were planning on for Starship anyway, so... <laughs> uh, right, right, so it's an improvement. Uh, anyway, yeah, so that is the idea, and yes, it's a really short video. Hopefully you can tell me what you think about this arrangement, and then I'll make the relevant parts. We probably want uh, connector trusses going from up here to down there. I thought about making a central uh, set of modules instead of just having trusses going down also have livable modules going down through but then I'm going to have to redo these station labs so that they have an extra port. Uh, they currently the Destiny lab only has one on either end it doesn't have ports on the side like that so but I can do that we'll see. Uh, so yeah, maybe we'll have another set of modules, but then if I have another set of modules, it'll block some of the solar panels a little bit more. It's, uh, you have to tell me what you think about that. Or we could have another set of solar panels in the center too. Uh, yeah. Anyway, so those are the options and, uh, I'll hear your comments. So with that, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below and I'll see you next time.